Messier primer. This is the Pure Canvas Primer. Next step is this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I pop it onto my, what's this thing called, my top of my palm. Under my eye with my ring finger and I got, I don't even know, this is the shade NC50 and this matches my actual skin colour perfectly. In both summer and winter I feel, I don't know, actually in summer it looks a bit lighter but in winter it goes and I just use my ring finger to dab it into all of the places that are slightly darker than others. The lady in the Mac store actually told me to use this finger and I just find that I can get it into every single crease as well. Put a little bit on here and then I'll do my eyebrows. So I don't use an eyebrow gel, I just use the pencil. I haven't found an eyebrow gel that I feel doesn't turn my eyebrows white so I just don't use one anymore. And I just fill in the sparse hairs of my brows. I will just keep on repeating, I am not a makeup artist. I just do, I just like found what works for me and I really enjoy look like when I have to wear makeup. I don't ever, you know, have to ever have to do anything, but when I feel the occasion is right and I do wear makeup, but I much prefer to look like I'm not wearing makeup and just Maya has got very much into makeup is that makeup is just to accentuate the beautiful features that you already have, not so much to turn you into somebody else. Unless obviously you are like a makeup girly and then you do your thing. Do your thing. You also don't live in my house, so <laughs> you can do whatever you want. And I go in with this. Oh wait, I didn't even show you what eyebrow pencil I use. I use the micro brow pencil in shade espresso. The NYX micro brow pencil. Oh lord. Can you see it? There we go. I use it up. And then I apply the Fenty Pro Filter in shade 440. And I just do the very ends of my eyebrows and then use this type of ended brush, guys. Um, just to oop, sorry to fill in my brows I've never used this primer before so I'm actually quite intrigued to see what it what it um comes out like I got a little like I, I got a little one just to see I've heard good reviews but you just never know how it's gonna go on your skin fill it in I don't properly rub them in you'll see why in just a second but you get the gist I go back in with my Fenty Beauty Pro filter concealer and then I oh I'm oh, my face I go past the sleepless night bags and then I just I'm gonna give it a Cleopatra, if that makes sense. And then the same on this side. I go right into the crease of my nose just to project. I, I, I'm not a contour, I'm not gonna say I'm not a contour queen. If I knew how to do contour, I would contour my face like a crazy person, but I'm not great at it. So <laughs> I just try and, you know, make it as easy as possible for myself. Techniques brush. And I just use it and I pat down the um, concealer.
use the excess just to blend in the bits that I haven't around my eyebrows. And as you can see, I look a little bit more awake now, I feel anyway. I use the Fenty Beauty this highlighter. No, not highlighter. The Fenty Beauty. What is this? Fenty Beauty. What contour stick? And this is in Espresso 05. Draw lines down the sides. I can literally, I do it on like where I can, I feel like there's a shadow on my face. Like I said, it's just to accentuate the beauty you already have. And guys, I know it sounds like I'm tooting my own horn, but I'm saying it to us all. <laughs> um, and when I do my, I use my fingers to really get into those like map out my cheekbone so I can get right underneath it. Um, and then, like, I really try and get into the bones, you know? As if I'm doing my very own Picasso. That blending brush by e.l.f. And I just, I do it upwards to get really into those creases. Oh God, why is it rough while well, you see? I don't know, I have a heavy hand. Like I said, makeup is not my thing. But I do it because, you know when you go out and you hand, you can, like, people are like, oh, I'm gonna take a picture. And then you look like you're the one that's, like you look like the half asleep one there. And that's just not what I'm here for. So I just blend that in my nose. And on my cheeks. If you can see, I have. It looks like I have. My face is coming together now. It makes it blended. I use the blush by Made by Mitchell Liquid. What is blush, isn't it? But the contour. I don't really know. My darling friend gave me this, so I'm. She's the makeup artist. I'm not. not i just listen to what she has to say origination um is dark so i l use the tiniest bit just to give more definition on my cheeks and on my face like the tiniest bit and with another real techniques brush this is like a thin brush blending brush just to brush it all in. I don't use a sponge. I know loads of people use sponges but I I don't know if I'm getting the technique from when I use a sponge but I just feel like when I use a blending sponge I'm taking all the makeup off. And I don't I think that's just a me thing because when I have ever have my makeup done and I use sponges that's never the case but when I use it it is the case. As you've noticed I don't put makeup at this bottom of my face um just because if there are any like little beauty spots or marks or whatever i kind of want them to be shown to it and doesn't look like i'm wearing very much makeup um, i have this climax by nars of course mascara again heard great things about it heard great things about it so i got one to test it wow okay Okay. If you can see it on the camera, but I have eyelashes now. Oh, how beautiful. I got, I got the little travel size one because, like I said, I never tried it out before. And I didn't know if it would be any good. And I am very, very impressed. Also, guys, did you notice I'm in a different setting? <laughs> Your girl has finally got her life together and organised all of the stuff that I was hoarding. That was, like, my mum's stuff. So, this room was, like, just full of her stuff, so... Now, I've just moved it into another room, let's be honest. And... 
because I mean it's very hard to let go but that's a story for another time but anyway I have my very own dressing room which makes me very happy very excited I mean I have nothing in there apart from these bits just to and I generally have no idea what how I'm gonna make it like I, I don't really know what I want to put in it to be honest Okay, that's the mascara done, and I like my cheek goings very quickly. Ooh. And I do, I do, can you see right, I do at the top of my cheekbone. Like right at the top. I do the centre of my nose and just put a little bit of highlighter there. Not a lot, it's just a little. And then, let's get my blush my brush again because I was The makeup girl is going to be like, girl, what are you doing? Oh, there we go. It's better, isn't it? Okay, now onto my lip combo. I always wanted my very own lip combo and I finally, finally, finally found it. And it is this chestnut lip. I'm sure this is not, this, I am not the creator of the chestnut lip combo but I'm sure everyone has one by MAC and mm! and I I don't overline my lips because I mean I was blessed <laughs> guys oh god I find myself so funny mm. I do use the eye, the eyeliner, the lip liner, just to give them more definition. And I like I love to give my cupid's bow the most definition, as so. And then I go in with this. I have no idea what this is. I, I couldn't even tell you what this is. This, I mean, it's from MAC, but it's like a MAC. I don't know if it's a lip gloss or something. Don't know what shade it's in. But it's a hair colour. And talking to the video camera. And that. I feel like I've missed something, but I don't know what it is. I don't have any blush on, but I do actually have a blush. This is the blush I use. It's a D&G one. Isn't the packaging so pretty? And it says it's, it does warm the face up, like it warms my face up a little bit. And if I'm totally honest, I have no idea where blush even goes. Get the eye. Let's just blend a little bit more. Guys, the most chaotic. Um no. Do you know what I did forget? Yes, I use the Chanel. The translucent powder for it's not translucent, is it? Dust to I don't even take the top off because it is a serious powder. And I just pat that under my eyes. And I just pat that under my eyes to get rid of any crease in. I suppose you could do it more like most of your face, but I do it under my eyes and just over this part because. That's the that's the part where my makeup creases the most. And then I use this, which is the Skin Refresher Finishing Mist by Max, the Fix Plus. I've used this, I feel like, since I was a teenager. And I spray it all over my face. I know that there are so many different ones. I feel like I'm just a creature of habit, so I don't 
MAC is the first like makeup I ever used. Well, I mean, MAC Mousse was definitely the first makeup I ever used, but and that was MAC, was my first proper makeup. Stick to what you know until the professionals can tell you otherwise. But yeah, I just stuck to it and I enjoy it. I can't really see in the viewfinder so let's hope it came out well anyway that is my everyday makeup look my no makeup slash makeup look guys i hope you liked this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe let me know what i'm missing or let me know what products i'm missing and my goal for the month of march is to get to 100 subscribers so guys tell your mates tell your work colleagues tell your parents i well, i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers this month not 101 just 100 i'm joking um but yeah thank you to everyone that has already subscribed thank you for watching my video and i will see you next time